Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to our second discussion about the summer 2022 anime season. Today, we'll be talking about Engage Kiss, an interesting show, to say the least. So, it is about basically three main characters who you can see in this uh, picture. The, the one in the nun outfit is... Uh, not a main character quite yet. But it's mainly about the guy named Shu and the pink-haired girl named Kisara and the blue-haired office-looking lady named Ayano. Yeah, yes, indeed. So, <clears throat> it takes place in this kind of, like, I don't know if it's, like, an alternate world or what. It's like a sci-fi-type world, okay? Um... And it centers around this city called Veyron or Byron City. Uh, the subs I was reading while watching it said Bayron, but the uh, synopsis says Viron or Veyron, so I don't know which uh, to really call it. Regardless, it's not important. What is important is it's a like mega floating metropolis that's created from the discovery of new energy sources, right? <clears throat> and so, Shu owns and operates a small business in the area and basically just scrapes by basically eating bean sprouts for uh, all of his meals. He's a poor boy, I'm going to say. Kisara is a high school girl or something like that who visits his office and home because she loves him, essentially. Uh, she also works with him to do various things and... Uh, I think she also has like a bunch of part-time jobs or something, apparently. Regardless, Ayano, the blue-haired lady there, is Shu's ex-girlfriend and a senior colleague at the corporation that he previously worked for, and she is also worried about him. Uh, the show itself is uh, supposed to be this like slapstick dramatic comedy between these three people and what's kind of going on, but also the weird stuff that happens on this floating island. <clears throat> The show itself is uh, a comedy romance, is what the genre says here in my anime list. But it's also got action, and the action is pretty great, I will say that much. Uh, if you remember me watching the promotional videos, this is the show that I was, like, not too interested in until, like, right at the end of the promotional video. And that's where it got great. So let me explain. So this show has that romantic comedy stuff going on, right? But also there's demons that uh, like possess people in this city. And Shu's business happens to be killing those demons or arresting them or whatever he is tasked with doing. And so Kisara helps him out. And uh, Ayano works at a, another company that also hunts them. And so they kind of team up occasionally to do so. Now, here's the tricky part. Kisara is also a demon, apparently. You find that out in the first episode. And it turns out, in order to get, like, power or to recharge, or it's not really too explained quite yet. In order to basically be strong, Kisara has to kiss Shu. And so, right in the first episode, near the end, there's a scene where she says that they haven't kissed for a while. And so they start making out in the middle of battle so that she can get strong, and then she transforms and basically kicks the demon's ass uh, and destroys a bunch of the building in the process. Uh, anyway, setting that aside, at first, after the first episode, I thought I might drop it, that I would not be interested uh, just because of how the main character acted, he seemed like a deadbeat, you know? Like, even in the fight, he didn't really do shit. The only thing he did was shoot at the demon a couple of times, which did nothing. And the rest of it was basically Kisara handling the problem. So, I mean, you could just take the main character out and the show would be just perfect. However, the second episode really turned things around for me. Because the main character actually seems to be doing something now, or he did something better, at least. Uh, he still didn't really match up much to Kisara, 
but she's an amazing monster demon thing anyway. So, yeah. Also, in both episodes, there has been a scene of, I don't know, working out on an exercise bike. And in both scenes, it has zoomed in on her tits jiggling. And I just got to say, that is just chef's kiss. Just just excellent. (laughs) Anyway. I just thought I would mention that because it's a cool little thing that I liked. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be a theme in all of them, if she's going to be doing that in every single one. That would be really interesting and actually hilarious if that particular scene always came up in every episode. So I'm kind of curious about that. Regardless, uh, yeah, it, it seems okay. First episode didn't really sell me 100%. Second episode... I definitely, you know, feel a little more like, okay, yeah, I could watch this show. Uh, Especially because I really want to find out who this blonde nun lady is because she looks really hot. Uh, But yeah. Also, I love the the character design of uh, Kisara. She's really cute. And also, I don't understand why she's a high school student if she's also a demon. I don't know if she's a demon who just happens to be going to high school as a cover or if she's a demon that, or a person that was a high school student who got possessed by a demon, you know? I'm curious if they'll explain that. But anyway, uh, Kisara kind of like can face through walls, right? So she like breaks into Shu's apartment a couple of times in the beginning. And in the beginning of episode two, she sneaks in, takes off all but her shirt, Sneaks into bed while he's still sleeping and then takes a selfie with him. And that's great. Like, mm, just hilarious. I love it. She, uh, she definitely has that Yandere vibe. But she's not quite a Yandere quite yet. Because uh, if she was, she would definitely be trying to kill Ayano a lot more. Since it's very obvious that Shu and Ayano still have feelings for each other. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts to begin with. Uh, it seems like it could be good, but we'll have to wait and see what everything plays out with. Also, I should mention that this is an original anime, which means that it does not have a source material like a light novel, a manga, a game, whatever. It's a completely original, made to be an anime, which means we might actually have a very good ending Unless they're going to leave it open-ending so they could potentially maybe have a sequel. Uh, We'll see how it goes. But everyone, that's all for now. Thank you for listening. And until next time, bye for now.